Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm the anonymous alpaca and I'll be introducing you to this parasite made zombie snail. This veers off a little into uncanny valley, but like in the world of snails. In case you're not familiar with the uncanny valley phenomenon, it's what used to describe that unsettling feeling you get when you see something that looks human, but not quite, like a robot with human features or a computer generated human face. That feeling horror movies bring out. <laughs> That eeriness when something doesn't act quite right, twitches uneasily, shows no fear, or stares you directly into the eyes without blinking. Picture that, but for snails. They're not called zombie snails for nothing. Imagine being a snail, going on your day when you see a fellow snail standing in broad daylight. The closer you get, the more twisted features you notice. Something seems to be pulsating under its skin. And is the eye stalk supposed to move like that? Before I will exactly tell you what's happening, please press the like button and help my videos get more attention. Little do you know, it's not about to eat your brains. No! But you're witnessing a parasite controlling that snail. Snail 101. Don't stand in the sun for too long. That's a one-way ticket to get snatched up and eaten by the nearest predator. It's a general rule for snails to seek cover. So what's up here? You are looking at the victim of the green banded brood sac, a parasitic flatworm that you better hope doesn't evolve to harm human beings one day. The worst part about this? When a green banded brood sac infects its host, it doesn't do it to feed. No, its goal is much more sinister. The victim, usually a land snail, is the parasite's shortcut to its ultimate life purpose, the queasy purpose of getting eaten by a bird so that it could breed. Yikes! See, it works like this. The green banded parasite needs to get to a bird, but it has no way of doing it. The caterpillar, on the other hand, spends its entire life hoping it doesn't get eaten by a bird. In an eerie example of the phenomenon of mimicry, which is a term used when organisms try to look like others, such as insects mimicking the appearance of a twig or a leaf, the parasite jumps inside the snail to increase its chances of survival. Granted, it does so a little bit more twisted than others. The parasite doesn't stalk and hunt its prey. It lies waiting. In bird feces. It works like this. A snail goes to feed, naturally on bird feces, only to ingest the parasitic worm. At this stage, it's just an egg. Once inside the snail, it hatches and becomes larva. You'd think that would be it, right? Nope. If the snail dies at this point, the parasite would perish along with it. No, it needs it alive. The larva then moves into its next stage of existence, developing into sporocysts, which are long and sac-like. Snails, as you know, have their distinct eye stalks. Well, the parasite burrows into the eye stalks, enlarging them, turning them into a vivid color, and yes, making them move like a pulsing heartbeat. But it's not just the eye stalks that the parasite infests. It's everywhere. Zombie snails, remember? The parasite then begins a full-scale invasion until it controls the snail's brain. Next step of plan, get eaten by a bird. Make the snail bait. Holding the metaphorical reins of the snail's brains, the parasite changes the snail's behavior. It makes the elusive creature deliberately go into the sun, baffling scientists and eventually killing the snail. Instead of retreating to where it's safe, the snail will remain out in the open, completely exposed. It's not just that. The zombie snails act completely differently than uninfected ones. Not only do they move erratically, but they also choose the best lit spots, the more open spaces. The higher the ground, the better. After all, the easier it is to get spotted, the better it is for the parasite. Then it happens. A bird sees the snail. Cue the dramatic music. The bird just thinks it struck gold. The snail is unmissable. Just look at its vibrant colors. Those eye stalks? Wow! The sacks look like caterpillars, its favorite food. Then it's a story as old as time. The predator eats the prey. But then the bird is infected with the green banded brood sac. It doesn't harm it the way it does a snail. Instead, it multiplies inside of its digestive system. The bird then, well, expels it, and another poor pre-zombified snail will consume the matter. And on and on it goes. The weirdest, most unnerving fact about this? 
When not eaten by a bird, infected snails live longer than uninfected ones. This video right here is so cool, I've specially selected it for you.